I spoke with Amnesty International's Gary Van Gulik about Operation Sophia and the horrible abuses happening to refugees. Well, it's, it's interesting, isn't it, that even uh, a country that really was a big proponent of this idea of tackling smugglers and destroying boats is saying, look, this isn't working. And it's, it's really in no way surprising, because what we've always said, and what's, what's so true, yet so simple, is that the only way you're going to go after uh, criminals and, and, and criminal smugglers or traffickers is by taking away the market rather than their boats. Uh, and the only way you can do that is by providing alternative ways of reaching safety in Europe. Uh, and, and really, that's not what this operation is doing. So we always had a sense that this was not the right way to go about stopping those horrible deaths at sea. Some have been critical that uh, part of the budget's been used to make these slickly produced uh, promotional videos, kind of showing them uh, doing a great job. And yet they really haven't done much to disrupt uh, what they were meant to do. Well, I will say that the good thing uh, that this has done is it has stepped up search and rescue capacity somewhat. So they have actually saved some people at sea, which from our perspective is perhaps the most important piece of their work. Um, what they haven't been able to do is really stop uh, traffickers and smugglers from, from taking people over the seas. But again, this is not about blocking the smugglers. You have to make sure that people who are so desperate that they give up everything and they risk their lives to get onto these horrible boats at sea, um, you have to make sure that they have alternatives. And that truly is the only way you're going to stop this. Um, until there is that kind of longer-term solution and some sense of help for these people that goes beyond stopping the people exploiting them, this is never going to stop. And we're going to see the rise in numbers again starting this month. The business of smuggling, how deeply embedded is that uh, in the Libyan economy, would you say? Well, look, a lot of people uh, are still stuck in Libya. Um, there's clearly patterns of abuse in Libya. We've documented this last year during the bigger wave. Um, and we're starting to do this again now. Um, what we see is, is horrible, horrible abuses all along the route. Um, so really from entry into Libya until the exit, um, people being stuffed in warehouses, people being held and tortured, uh, people being forced to give up everything they have and then uh, forcing their families to give up everything they have. So a lot of this, almost all of it, is at the hands of, indeed, those criminal networks, smugglers, traffickers. Um, but it is very important to say that, of course, now the European Union is already thinking about setting up the kind of deal that they have with Turkey. And as soon as that's the case, the EU becomes complicit in some of these abuses that are happening in Libya. How do you protect the migrants? I mean, what steps can be taken? Uh, you've just outlined these, the, basically a, a litany of horrors. What can be done to help these migrants? Well, the simplest uh, and yet politically the hardest solution to all of this is people shouldn't have to go through these countries in the first place. So a lot of the, the refugees and migrants that go through Libya uh, come from sub-Saharan Africa, but also now Syria is starting to take off. And so those people should be able to claim asylum in a different way. They should be able to at least travel to Europe safely, and that can be through flying there, uh, on temporary visas, for example, or through family reunification, or uh, through other means, where those people who are entitled to international protection, so not all of them, but some of them, have to be able and are able to find those safe ways to, to protection in Europe. Um, that just cuts out the entire middleman. Uh, and it makes sure that that country, Libya, isn't even used as a transit country. Um, but again, for those who are uh, stuck in Libya at the moment, the last thing that you have to do uh, is block them from moving forward. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.